So we just released a new Prodigy plugin. This one's called Prodigy Segment. And the easiest way to explain what it does is to just show you. Now the main recipe that this plugin introduces is this segment image manual recipe over here. I'm giving this recipe a name of a data set to save stuff into. I'm passing it a folder of images. I'm also passing it some model weights. More on that later. Uh, and I'm also saying that I'm interested in uh, adding these two labels. But let's just see what this recipe does. Okay, so here's what the interface looks like. Um, let's say that I'm interested in annotating this cat. So far, so good. This is the normal interface from image manual that you might already be aware of. But uh, now I can hit this segment image button over here. And in the back end, a model is now working under the hood to actually do the pixel segmentation for the item that I just annotated. Um, so I can also do the same thing for the dog here, let's say. Let's hit segment. And that looks pretty good. Uh, note, by the way, that I'm uh, still able to uh, make some little tweaks if I wanted to. Uh, I can also uh, remove a selection and then hit segment again. And at this point, I could say, well, let's actually add the cat. Uh, I'm actually interested in that. So I'll hit segment and I will hit accept. And let's just save this one example um, and see what we actually get out. So just to demonstrate what data actually got stored, um, I'm loading up the data set that I just annotated. Uh, what I'm doing is I have this function over here called mask to uh, Python image uh, library object. Uh, effectively, it's just a library that's going to make it easy for me to uh, demo what's actually being shown here. Um, but you can see that one of the selections is actually stored in the database right now is the selection for the cat. And the other one over here is the selection of the dog. You can actually kind of see a little bit of fur uh, from the dog just behind the cat's ear, which I thought was a nice little detail. So this recipe effectively is storing these segmentation maps on our behalf. And to do this properly, what it's actually doing under the hood is it's using uh, Facebook's segment anything model. So that weights file that I alluded to earlier, uh, that is actually one of the weights files that the segment anything library uh, gives you, uh, and that's what the Prodigy recipe is um, using under the hood. To me, this feels like a very convenient user interface because it's quite easy to draw a box and it's actually kind of hard to get the segment just right. But with a model in the loop like this and the ability to make small adjustments, uh, you can actually get quite far. I hope that this demo is quite motivating and that you're eager to try it out. However, if you're going to use this recipe, it's good to know one extra thing. And that is that we also provide a fill cache recipe. Under the hood, this segment anything model is actually a pretty big model. And if you want to run this in real time, then you might need to use a GPU. If you don't want to use a machine with a GPU though, one thing that you can also do is run this fill cache recipe, which is going to do all the pre-computation ahead of time, fill it up into a cache that's on disk, and then that cache can be used to make the annotation real quick and smooth uh, by the time you really want to get annotating. So in general, we do definitely advise to uh, use this recipe ahead of time because it just really lowers the requirements on your machine. Speaking of which, you are going to need a machine with a fair bit of memory. Uh, these models aren't small, unfortunately, but we do like the thing that not needing a GPU is already a big step forward. So definitely feel free to give this a spin. These recipes should work on modern laptops, uh, even if they don't come with a fancy GPU.